This video tutorial will demonstrate how to use Ava Slicer and Ava CMB to create a model of a femur, tibia, and ACL. Written directions for this tutorial are available on Ava's website, ava.readthedocs.io. The links to download the latest versions of Ava for this workflow are in the description. The model begins with an MRI, specifically the OKS 14 specimen from the Open Knee repository in the video description link. Start by opening up Ava Slicer 2.2 and navigating to the Add Data tab to load in the nifty file containing the MRI of the knee joint. You can change the view to four windows for a coronal, axial, sagittal, and 3D views of the slices. Click on the Home module and choose Segment Editor. Navigate to the master volume and choose the MRI that was just loaded. Use the Add button to create a new segmentation. Use the segmentation tools and shortcuts to outline the anatomy. Refer to the other videos or documentation for methods of segmentation. Once segmentations of the femur, tibia, and ACL are completed, click on Segmentations and scroll down to show the Import and Export options. Select Export in the Output node. If you're working with multiple segmentations, like in this case, the default settings will save all segments into one label map. But to save individually, select Visible from the Exported Segments drop-down menu. Then toggle the visibility of all other segments from the list above. Once saved, the exported nodes will appear in the data module. Choose File and then Save to save the segmentations, switching to the Nifty file format. Make sure to export and resave the segments if edits are made to the label maps. Next, to generate the surface meshes, select the Surface Meshing tab from the Home module. Under Input Segmentation, choose the segmentation from the segment editor that contains the segmented tissues. To create the triangulated surface, hit Export Visible Segments to Surface Models. By default, the resulting triangulated surface will not be smoothed, but can easily be done by checking the Smooth Models options. The slider will adjust the smoothing applied to the mesh. In this case, maximum smoothing is applied. The left panel will display the label maps in the segment editor. The right panel will display the generated triangulated surfaces. On the right side of the screen, the data module will be displayed. This provides easy access to toggle visibility and change the properties of the visible meshes. When a mesh is selected on the data list, property options will appear below. On the lower half of the left hand side, there are three tabs with mesh operations. Reconstruction, remeshing, and toolbox contain operations that can be applied to an existing surface mesh. Once the segmentations have been exported to a surface mesh, the operations may be used for further smoothing, decimation, and remeshing. Operations may be performed in any order. For this tutorial, the models will be exported with automated smoothing, followed by remeshing to reduce the density of the surface meshes. Navigate to the remeshing tab on the lower left side of the screen. Under Parameter Set, select Create New Parameter Set. Select the input model and an output node for the resulting surface mesh. Set the maximum global mesh size to 1 and apply. Repeat this process for each of the tissues and adjust the mesh size as needed. You can save the files at this point as STLs or another file format. Next, we will create a volumetric mesh for the ACL. The tibia and femur can remain as surface meshes because they are modeled as rigid bodies. 
From the Home module, select the Volumetric Meshing tab. Select the input using the previously generated surface mesh and choose the meshing method as NetGen. Then, under Advanced, select the NetGen tab and click Use Surface Mesh as Input. Now you may select the input surface from the drop-down menu above. Select the ACL surface mesh from the drop-down menu. For the output node, create new model as and apply. Use the data panel on the right to change properties and views of the volume mesh. Save the volume mesh as a VTK file. Next, we will switch to Ava's Computational Model Builder or Ava CMB to annotate the meshes. Choose File and New Resource. To add your previous work, choose the resource you just added, then File to import into the resource with the VTK file of the ACL and STL files of the bones. Several different selection tools are available for creating groups of elements or node sets to define insertion areas. On the panel above the Render View screen, manual selection tools are available. Select Cells with Polygon is recommended for selecting on irregular shapes. Simply click and drag to select the desired region. Once a region has been selected, use the plus or minus buttons to add or subtract from the existing set. Saved selections may also be edited by selecting the set from the resource tree followed by plus and minus and the desired selection tool. On the far right side of the panel at the top of the AVA CMB window, several automated selection tools are available. Choose the desired selection tool. In the Operations taskbar under Operation Editor, select the source and target face, expanding the resource tree to see which faces belong to which geometries. This example demonstrates the Select by Proximity option. I choose distances of 0.5 and 0.2 mm to show the difference in selection. The selection will be created on the source mesh and the target mesh will be used as the tool. You can filter the selection by points or cells. Once you have defined your set of points or elements, hit the Duplicate Cells button at the upper right or use Command D for Mac or Control D to create the group under the geometry in the resource tree. Double click to rename the newly defined group. You can see in this example a completed set of insertions defined for the ACL on the bones. This model with geometry and node sets can be exported from the operations window as an FE bio file if desired. Once completed, save the newly created resource as an SMTK file by selecting File and then Save Resource As. Next time you want to open this model, simply open the SMTK file to bring back all of the geometry and defined groups. Check back on this channel for more guides on using AVA Slicer and AVA CMB.